Nawab has two sons, Saif and Amir, who have export businesses. Nawab's satisfaction per, or utility level is given by adding twice the satisfaction of Saif with the satisfaction level of Amir. So, Saif into 2 plus Amir gives us Nawab. If Saif makes 100, his satisfaction level goes up by 10%. If he suffers a loss of 100, his satisfaction goes down by 10%. Saif plus 100 up 10 percent minus 100 down 10 percent if amir makes a profit of 100 his satisfaction level goes up by 5 percent if he suffers a loss of 100 his satisfaction level goes down by 15 percent amir is obviously more miserable than Saif. Saif is plus 10 minus 10 amir is plus 5 minus 15 he takes his failures hard so amir plus 100 that means up 5 percent minus 100 that means down 15 percent all very complicated i don't even know where it is going so far nawab satisfaction level is 24 and the satisfaction level of saif is the same as the satisfaction level of amir so nawabs is at 24 saif and amir are identical x and x x into 2 plus x is 24 or 3x is 24 or x is 8, x is 8, Saif is at a level of 8, Amir is at a level of 8, 8 into 2, 16, 8 into 1, 8, 8 plus 16, 24, done. If Saif makes a profit of 100, Amir, Amir suffers a loss of 100, what is the approximate percentage change in Nawab satisfaction level? Saif makes a profit of 100, that means it's up 10%, so Saif will go to 8.8, .8, up 10%. Amir is down 15%. What is 15% of 8? 15 by 100 times 8. 3 by 20 times 8. 4 by 10 or 12 by 10, 1.2. He's down 1.2. He started at 8, down 1.2, takes him to 6.8. Now what will be Nawab satisfaction? is 8.8 .8 into 2, 17.6 plus 6.8. 4, 1, 8 plus 6, 14, 4, 1, 24.4. 4. So far, so good. What is the approximate percentage change? So, Nawab goes from 24 to 24.4. Our percentage change is 0.4 by 24 into 100. Or 0.4 by 24, 4 by 240 into 100. 1 by 6 into 10, which is 1.66, 1 1.67%. Very boring question. And so you have to find this, find that, see what they are going up, find just a just number manipulation and understanding percentages. The, the, the context is extremely contrived. So I, I'm not a big fan of this question. It's not conceptually challenging, just computationally challenging. You have to find out and track each number carefully and all that. So such a long story. You can miss something and then go haywire. Gosh.